Good evening and welcome to the 7th and 8th grade uh, band concert. Uh, if you're joining us from the 6th grade band concert, which just went extremely well, I was very pleased in the way that that turned out. So one great concert down, one great concert to go. All right, uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name's John McCarthy. I am the 7th uh, and 8th grade band director here at the Getz Middle School. Got a little announcement from JTV for you JTV fans. JTV will be shooting tonight's show and selling DVDs to take home with you right after the show ends. DVDs will be $15 and will be ready in about 10 to 15 minutes after the conclusion of the concert at the table just outside the auditorium. The concert will also be streaming live tonight on JTV's YouTube channel. So people that couldn't make it can go to www.jtvlive.org right now or they can watch it on Cablevision Channel 77 in Jackson. We're so lucky to have all right, such a great thing like JTV that if people can't make the concert, they can still see it at home. That's, that's a very good thing. All right, my pre-concert note, all right, we all know the deal. Please silence your devices all right, so they're not going off all right, during the student's performance. They've been working very hard, all right, and it's always unfortunate when we're playing and you know, a call comes in. So just put it on silent. I know a lot of you guys like to do the video and take pictures and stuff like that, but if you put on silence, we won't have any interruptions. All right, if you have to leave the auditorium, please wait for the song to end, and during the applause, that's a good time to get up and leave so that you're not disrupting your fellow patrons trying to enjoy the show. All right, uh, this is a formal concert, all right, so if we could do away with you know, yelling out your student's name or all right, Bobby, or something like that. Let's, let's save that for the tractor pull, please. All right, and uh, that's pretty much it. So again, our first piece is a heroic overture for band. This is seventh grade band playing Valiance.
The film Spider-Man No Way Home did $1.8 billion at the box office. Wow. Think about what you can do with that kind of money. Anyway, this is the theme song from the cartoon that started it all. This is theme from Spider-Man. So whenever I hear that Spider-Man song, I always get stuck in my head, so I'm wondering, who else this evening after the concert will be driving home? Spider-Man, Spider-Man. It's an it's a oldie, an oldie but a goodie. All right, we're going to get uh, patriotic. All right, uh, Memorial Day, believe it or not, is just around the corner. All right, this is the patriotic favorite. This is my country.
Our next selection is called Ascot Overture. Uh, it's in the same form all right, as uh, Fury from the uh, sixth grade concert previously, so if you're here for that, same form. All right, so there's three movements. There's a fast movement, a slow movement, and then it returns to a fast movement. Okay, so it's called A, B, A form all right, in musical terms. Now, like you told the sixth grade audience, all the smart band parents know that when you go from the A movement to the B movement, all right, even though there's like a little break in the sound there, you don't applaud. You wait till the very end of the song, and then you clap. Okay, and all uh, smart band audience know that the song is over when the conductor lowers their hands. Okay, so just a little tip there so you're not in the middle. And I was like, not yet, not yet. This is Ascot Overture. For the uh, seventh grade's final number of their set, all right, they're going to play uh, a piece called Rock and Robin. Uh, Jimmy Thomas wrote it, but Michael Jackson made it famous. This is Rock and Robin.
So if you re remember them from last year's at sixth graders, all right, to now, all right, wrapping up the seventh grade year, what an improvement. Let's hear it again for the seventh grade band. Thank you very much. We're going to transition. Seventh grade band is going to go to their seats. The stage band is coming on stage. So bear with us for about two, three minutes while we bring on the stage band. Stage band members in the audience. All right, start moving it towards the stage. All right, stage band is next.
I really like that song. <laughs> it's called Blast from the Past, Blast from the Past. And this is the stage band, stage band. Now, normally stage band is seventh and eighth grade band members. This year we've got sixth grade, believe it or not, seventh and eighth grade. So you have sixth graders, give a little wave so you can see where you're at. So again, sixth graders playing at this level, that's pretty awesome, all right? So I'm really looking forward to uh, bigger and better things, all right, from my sixth graders coming up to me in uh, seventh grade uh, next year. Okay, our next song, we're slowing down a little bit. This is uh, the uh, theme from Toy Story, You've Got a Friend in Me, and it features trumpet soloist Jordan Ferrer.
cheer one more time for Jordan on the trumpet. The uh, stage band last month went to the Jackson Liberty Jazz Festival, all right, and played quite, quite well. I was very proud of them. All right, particular achievements, all right, uh, won by the stage band. Stage band won for best trumpet section. Best rhythm section. Outstanding musician awards on the set, Ashley Dunbar. Outstanding Musician Awards on the keyboard, Ashlyn Klinsky. And believe it or not, best over all middle school bands, best overall solo, Jordan Ferrer on the trumpet. All right, the uh, stage band's final number. All right, is uh, the Charlie Brown favorite. Linus and Lucy, and it features Ashley Dunbar on the drum set. This is Linus and Lucy. Some of you don't know this, all right, but I'll remind you, the stage band rehearses twice a week during the homeroom. By the time they say the Pledge of Allegiance and they make their announcements, we're talking 10 minutes maybe, twice a week. All right, so again, that level of playing for a 20-minute rehearsal, that's pretty darn good. Let's hear it one more time for the stage band.
We're going to transition one more time. Stage band's going off. Eighth grade band is coming on. So if you're still in the audience, eighth graders, come on up.
So this is the eighth grade band, right? Uh, I always call them the small but mighty eighth grade band because they're not large in numbers, but they get a nice sound. Everybody can play. Everybody can play. Everybody can play very, very well. I'm very happy with the progress of this band so far this year. So anyway, the uh, first piece that you just heard was called Sky Gazer Fanfare. All right, it's uh, one of my favorites. Uh, we do it every you know four or five years in rotation. So uh, I like to go back to it because. It just sounds so awesome, and I think the band did a great job on it. Our next one is uh, it's a march. I right, call the General Green March. General Green March is named for uh, Nathaniel Green, who was second in command to George Washington during the Revolutionary War. So if you're like, why are we doing a General Green March? Because hey, very important general. All right, during the American Revolution, if it wasn't for him, we might be part of the British Empire at this time. This is the General Green March. If our next selection makes you feel like you're at the bullfights, it should. This one's called Torero, right, featuring mariachi-style trumpets, the sound of castanets, the roar of the crowd. This is Torero.
Paging, bass clarinet to the stage, bass clarinet to the stage. <laughs> You probably noticed the uh, eighth grade band doesn't have a whole lot of bass. I've got no trombones, got no baritones. Right, that's why Ashlyn's right, playing some of the bass parts on the keyboard. All right, uh, we were working this piece after school with some of the eighth graders, and Maddie's like, I could play that. And she plays an awesome bass clarinet. So Maddie, from the seventh grade band, joins the eighth grade band on their patriotic number, Battle Hymn of the Republic. For uh, the eighth graders go on to their uh, final number, I want to share some news with you. It happened, happened like a month and a half ago, but uh, still uh, we haven't seen each other since the uh, holiday concert. Uh, <clears throat> we were fortunate to have uh, two very good uh, band members audition and were accepted into the All Shore All-Star Band. Okay, and again, its real name is not the All-Star Band, but I just throw that there because when you say the All Shore Band, people are like, What's that? Well, again, it's like the all-star team for student musicians, right? So students from the Shore area, Ocean County, Monmouth County, they prepare solos, they prepare scales, right? they do sight reading, and then if they're lucky enough to be accepted, if they're lucky enough to be accepted, all right, their prize is to go to five three-hour rehearsals, all right, and then put on a concert. Now, normally the all-shore season uh, it starts in uh, November, uh, but since we were still in the uh, COVID era, uh, it, it didn't happen. So we kind of did a, a shortened season, uh, and these students worked real hard. Matter of fact, uh, they thought they were going to be trying out in November, but then it didn't happen. Uh, so they've been working all the time. Uh, they did a concert uh, the uh, first week, last week of April, uh, and it was, just, it was just an awesome performance. So I want to acknowledge those two students. All right, uh, one of them on the trumpet is uh, Vanessa D'Souza. And 
the other one I have to apologize to because I put their names in the program and this is my second concert of the night. I did sixth grade band, now I'm doing seventh and eighth grade, and I think I lost my mind for a second, so I, I put the wrong person's name. All right, so, A.V., I am very sorry that I did that to you. All right, but uh, I'll make up a special program just for you. But again, first chair out of every single saxophone that tried out, A.V. Noble. So needless to say, so proud of their achievements. It's, it's, so, it's such, so fulfilling to see the great things that the students in Jackson do. Because right, a lot of times, you know, the, the Monmouth County schools will kind of look down. I was like, ew, Jackson, all right? It's like, oh yeah, did I mention first chair, first saxophone? Did I mention Vanessa on the trumpet? Did I, did I mention our award-winning high school marching band? Take, take that, Monmouth! <laughs> So again, such, such great achievements. All right, the eighth grade bands, gonna close it out on something that I am particularly right now. All right, it's from the uh, uh, movie Despicable Me 2. This is Happy. Really gonna miss these awesome musicians next year. Let's hear one more time for the eighth grade band. Anyway, uh, so here's the part of the concert when I do all my thank yous. So many people come in to play to pull off a concert like this. I can't do it by myself. So again, I'm gonna read them off. Let's hold our applause to the very end so we just do one big round of applause for all these folks. All right, so special thanks to Jackson Board of Ed. Transportation Department brought us over here the other day for a rehearsal. Uh, Jackson Memorial High School staff. All right, of course, our principals, Mr. Perino. Mr. Ayers, Mr. Bryce, all right, my partner in crime, uh, Ms. Castelli, all right, who's helping out in Ms. Fodor's absent, all right, Mr. Diaz, Mr. Ficarra, 
all right, all the custodial staff, kitchen staff, secretarial staff, teaching staff, all right, because uh, again, once in a while I have to take the kids out of class for rehearsal, so thanks for letting that happen. All right, parent, teacher, chaperones, man, you guys who helped me in the back this evening, thank you so much. I'm always so glad when I get some help from my parents because again, all right, I got seventh grade band in one room, I got the eighth grade band in one room, I'm running around setting stuff up, I can't do it by myself. So if you helped out, thank you so much. If you didn't help out, there's always next time. All right, uh, the latex, the sound ticks, JTV. All right, I, I can't wait to see uh, how good I look tomorrow on, on, the, on, on the video. <laughs> on the video. I'd like to thank parents and families for supporting our program. If you guys didn't support it, it wouldn't be what it is today. And last but not least, all the talented, most of the times not too annoying, members of the 7th and 8th grade bands for, for doing such an awesome job. Alright, so let's have a nice round of applause for all the... Alright, so we're going to bring the uh, amazingly mostly well-behaved 7th grade band back on stage for our, our combined number. Now, sit, 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 sit. Remember, we're gonna, we're gonna load it, we're gonna load it from the back, okay? And again, you may not end up in the exact same chair that you were in, all right, but as long as it's close, it's all good. All right, so can I have my seventh grade basses, trombones, baritones on stage now? Come on. All right, seventh grade trumpets will follow, come on. Put yourself in the same general vicinity. I, I need my tambourine players to grab the tambourines and start moving towards the front. All right, can I have my uh, saxophones, please? Can I have my clarinets, please? Can I have my flutes, please? All right, come on, you guys, get settled. All right, again, percussion. If you're playing the tambourine, grab it and then pop right out. All right, everybody else back to the instruments. Uh, the uh, band's combined number is the Motown Classic, made famous by the girl group, The Crystals. This is Da Do Run Run. And I, I did look it up on Wikipedia. All right, so if you're like, yeah, but Miss McCarthy, what does the Do Run Run mean? Here's a secret. It doesn't mean anything. It just sounds cool. All right, so the Do Run Run. All right, we're, we're, there's going to be a little audience participation as before, so uh, when prompted, Please help us out with the song. This is the Do Run Run.
So unfortunately, that's going to do it for us this evening. All right. So let's hear it one more time for the combined seventh and eighth grade bands. Nice job, nice job. Okay, we could, we could stop shaking the tambourines now. Anyway, thank you so much for being such a fun and great audience. All right, drive safely on your way home, and we'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Good night.